and welcome back to Red Dead Resident Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode and I got a little bit of crash so when, when that went too far I, I'm not like mad or anything I talked to um, uh, John John Marsh on top of the oil thing we do in the train and crack some jokes about eating brain wolves and such. And then I walk up to uh, John's wife. She wants me to fish with Jack. And I did some did say something. Well, I have a sick mind. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. I like have like a sick mind to say something, but I'm probably not say it here. you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Lift you on when you're ready. All right. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like... I'm gonna stop here. Because this is the area where I got crashed, so I need to stop. If I crash again, I might have to go to the other objective. Going back to the other camp. The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? All right, this looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You shall... I can't wait to get started. <laughs> Just by the water there? You mean? I've 
first. We need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Yeah, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, I think I got one. Is it a big one? I think it's the same fish. Oh, that's a nice good one. Size two. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Well, let's try again. He's an hour. Put the bay on it quick. There, got him. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try to reel Ooh, him in. Ooh, what the heck is that? This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Got one, Jack. I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a 
guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Well, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Getting late. It's hard, like night. I don't like it here anymore. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Max? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Boys get known. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. soon.
Hey, Taylor. A life? That's my goddamn life. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I drink to forget? Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. That's all right, partner. You enjoy it. Come on, mister. Take the load off. Fire's real warm. Now yeah, I have things to do. Come on, girl. Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. 
That bloody train you and him has set up. What are you doing out here? You're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolf Man. Yeah, follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this ah, block of the tracks, it, they'll stop soon enough. You want me to drive? Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here, towards roads. So. Yes. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we've knocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Need to get up there. Hey. Finish up here. And join us on board. Faster. Go on, get on there. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Ah! Everybody, stay calm. Shoot! Sure. You get shot. Oh. Stop the 
coke. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Peace. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. No, I ain't got Why nothing. Do this? Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Money! Oh, hey! Don't man. do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the back, oh, everything it. you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People act like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games! Uh-huh. Shh! God damn it! Oh, God! Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be- Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery! Let's make this quick! No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guns, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand That's you over to my friend then. Hello. Son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Thank you for the custom. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks are the muscle. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? <laughs> I know that's what's worrying me. Some decent stuff. Come on, we should get out of here. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Looking good in here. Yeah. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more to turn it up. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Left. Right there! 
John's that because no not the main star from Red Dead Redemption 2 of oh, 1 oh, boys, let's get the hell out of here Are you kidding me? Oh! 
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. 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 So I got a beard. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love we well we spread apart to our thing but yeah we're coming back to the camp. Michael, what's up to him? Mary Beth. Hi there. Oh, I got bit. 
Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I need medicine. Or a siphon. Here. Drink this. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Uh, now I, I gotta get out of here. God, God, don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Well, the next time I see if someone's getting bit by a snake, I suppose. Not gonna help him because he's not giving shit. Whoopee! Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? 
Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Tristan told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. This ridge. He should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> There they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! Not again. You sons of bitches got him down. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. How long does it take? Next time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. 
Find new ride for two. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a thing? Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge, you can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across forever! What the hell? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll? Uh, uh, you've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. Count of? Well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yep, well. Let's get the fuck out of here.
here. Son of a whore! Well, better safe than sorry. Wow. And the... Yeah, there's the desire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed that. Peace out, my homies. Peace out. See you in the next episode.